What's up, everybody? This is Ben from the Ben Rare Show. We got Marcos right behind me over here. What's up, y'all? What's going on, everybody? And I got the blue bandana on today, so. Well, you're, you're Marcos, pimping you're up the uh, ice cube. Oh, that's true. <laughs> got ice cube. Uh, before we get started, we got a special guest tonight. But before we get to our special guest, we're going to get to our sponsor, which is Pure West Compassion Club, located at 9730 Adams Street, right here in Holland. Get all of them, 616-772-9420, or you can visit their website, purewestclub.com, and of course you can see their hours right here. And we have special guest, Danny Perez. Thank you for, thank you for being here. Thank um, you. Yeah, for sure. So uh, give us a little rundown of who you are for people that don't know who you are, and that way you can work your way in and... Uh, Danny Perales Jr., but uh, I'm better known as Danny Boy, man. Everybody knows me as Danny Boy. What, what? Uh, Danny. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. D-Rock, man. That's, that's my pals. But yeah, uh, you know, Danny, Danny, uh, Danny Boy, everybody knows me as, you know what I mean? Even 32 now, still be still get called Danny Boy, you know? <laughs> that's, that's cool. That yeah, would be still, forever, though, you know? Yeah. That's cool. So, um, so what type of give us a little bit of a little bit of background about yourself? Um, you know, born and raised here. Yeah, um, just born and raised here, man. And uh, and actually, I'm just from Holland and uh, graduated in uh, '09. And That's what we want to hear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. That actually helps. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I graduated in '09 with. Uh, with two kids and then just hey. shh, and it kept going and I got six people. Some kids just don't go right, back. right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, I you know, I had a had a little rough start to uh high school and then, you know, thought about dropping off a few times and you know, but uh big support group, man, through everything that I do, you know right. what I mean? That wouldn't let me awesome. fail, you know, through through school and, you know, other other uh things that I've continued to uh succeed in, you know, with you know, we we're talking about my drinking and stuff like that. You know, mm -hmm. ten years sober now. So, you know, yeah. congratulations! Ten years sober. Yeah. Ten years, man. Congratulations! How many of you can beat that? Like, exactly. Ten years sober. Not uh, even I can do that. Yeah, my pops. He's he's a month a month ahead of me. But yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Right along with with him, you know. So, but big support group with that as well, you know. So. Louis says, "What's up, Mom? What's up, Danny boy?" That's my dog, uh, man. That's my dog. What's up, everybody? You sound a little nervous. Are you nervous? Oh yeah. Oh heck yeah, man. I, I yeah, trust you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be yourself. Don't worry about nothing. It's all good. Like I say, and I tell my dad that too. He's like, "No, no worries, man. Those guys mess up too." So. I mean, oh yeah, we. Man, you have no idea how much we mess up. Yeah. Should have heard him yesterday. <laughs> Hilarious. But. No, 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 I don't think anybody caught it. No, no, no. you should have heard me at, when we were at Farmer's Market. Oh my God, you yeah. see my life. Yeah, yeah, Farmer's yeah. Market. He's yeah. like, <laughs> talking about, <laughs> you show like 8 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, hey, that's an early show. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 like, I'm live, dude, I can't edit this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys run into each other with the phone, yeah. too. I see that, yeah. <laughs> back to back. Uh, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, People messed up, and if it wouldn't be a live show, if we didn't. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. Nothing's a skit here. I mean, if we had it edited, oh it yeah, wouldn't be a skit. I don't like. I don't like that. We I tried the skit thing, and it doesn't work. No, it, no. because we, we we just end up messing up anyway. Yeah, yeah. And you, but you be who you are. Be yourself. Don't worry about nothing. Don't worry about the mics and yeah. cameras. Nothing like that. Yes. Yeah. My wife too. She's like, you're a people person. You're all right. And everybody that said like, you know, we're gonna do the show tonight, and like. I was a little nervous. Like I said, I, yeah, I messaged him too, and I'm like, yeah, I'll be there at 8.30, though, because I'll be a little bit But I, I know if I wouldn't have took today, either 7.30 or 8.30, I would have pushed it out, you know, another day, and then I would have probably pushed it out again, you know what I mean? Because, yeah. you know, I knew, I knew we had talked about it before, yeah. so I was like, yeah, but, you know, and then it came about, you know, last night. So I well, like, I do apologize for the delay. Uh, it was only because we it was the movement and then the, the, the oh. renovation and everything. We, we're trying to get everybody back that we said we were going to put yeah. on the show. What's up, Chris? What's uh, up, Diego? Everybody's heading up right now. Anthony. Uh, well, hello, Diego. Diego. Oh, dang. Welcome. Yuri. Angela. Luis. Angel. Chris. Deuce. Anthony. I look like, uh, <laughs> I look like, uh, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who Wow. So, you so, can hit up. Say hi to your people, man. What's up, man? I appreciate you guys tapping in. For real, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool that everybody. We love the supporters. We love everybody. That we love the support. We love you all. Don't don't think we're leaving anybody out. 
There's too many people. Angel said, Danny boy. That's my dog, uh, man. Uh, what up, Angel? Gotta get him a new key, though, man. I, I my think boy. That, he's keep getting locked out of his car. <laughs> <laughs> Last night he called me, but it, luckily his brother had it. But it, you know, oh, he, he went to, oh, I locked it in there because he locked it in several times before. So, yeah. yeah. So, I got repeat offenders, though, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds familiar. <Yeah. laughs> um, so, what got you in the road business, roadside business? So actually, man, I lost my job after like six years at a, a powder coating company, you know, and, and I never attended the daughter, dad, or, the daughter, dad dance, right? Mm -hmm. So I got uh, three girls and I, <clears throat> I got to attend one. My coverage did not show up. So I ended up getting fired because, you know, it mm -hmm. ultimately fell back on me. And there was basically no call, no show. But, yeah. you know, and that was a blessing in disguise. So. You know, talking to my wife, we were going to visit her family in Ohio, and we're coming back. And I was like, you know, I want to, I want to do a driving job, you know. So she's like, all right. Went in for my uh, chauffeurs, and then I actually got a job at uh, AutoZone. But you know, I, I, I always, I, I always loved cars, you know. So I, and that's how, that's how I got my foot into working with cars more. Yeah. So that's how I started the driving job. Then I was like, let me, you know, I want to do towing. So um, a buddy of my dad's. You know, a lot of connections through my pops. But yeah, a buddy of my dad's, he had a friend that owned Campbell's Track Service. I don't know if you guys are familiar yep, with them. I remember yeah. Campbell. I used to go through Campbell when I was running uh, Performance Plus. Oh, nice. So yeah. illegal parking, I would call Campbell's. Yep, yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we got a few contracts through, you know, even my dad, when he worked uh, at a couple of places, uh, we, we had got some contracts through him as well. And, uh, uh, but yeah, so I, I uh, started after after um, the towing, Sorry. No, no, no. The camera, I was going backwards. Was going, oh, oh. <laughs> after uh, after AutoZone, because that's where I got my foot in the door, like trying to just delivering and stuff yeah. like that. So I said, let me try that. So my uh, my dad's friend hooked me up with a job at Campbell's. So um, I met Brandon Overwick, and I'm going to shout him out a few times in this. Go ahead. Do what you have to do. That's my dog, man. And he, uh, he showed me the ropes. So I started there in midwinter, and actually with the hook truck, though. Yep. So and that's you know a little different than a flatbed. So I, I honestly can't can't tell you that I know how to uh, drive or load on a flatbed. You know, mm -hmm. so I started with the hook truck, and then almost two years into that, uh, a year into that, I had a kid, and then you know uh, almost like a year after that, they shut the doors on us. You know, just they, they ended up closing closing shop. You know, mm -hmm. we were gonna move, and just too much for them. So they ended up you know shutting it down completely, unfortunately. <clears throat> and then um, Brandon started the 616 roadside. I did uh, Roman's repairs and yep, and, I, Romans. Yep, and I, I started I started that and Romans was on 96 and right, right? No, no, the, yeah, I get a lot of people that they get that a little bit confused. I yeah I yeah that was a Romans towing. The Romans yeah. towing. Yes, okay. yes. So I started Romans repairs. Okay. So just doing you know small repairs on okay, cars, gotcha. and stuff like that. So you know just initially I just got the. LLC and then boom, you know, now I own a business, but you know, it doesn't yeah. go like that. You gotta, you gotta, you follow. There's a whole process. Yeah, a whole mm -hmm. process. So. Chris Bowers says, Danny Boy. That's my dog, bro. What's up, man? Xavier Garcia, we got Steven Herrera. Marcus Steven Elias. Elias. Dan Brown. Brown. Danny Segovia. What up, everybody? Thanks for joining. Yes, yes. You got Danny, you got Brandon followers. Yes, yeah, my, yeah, yeah, my people, man. Yourself. I appreciate you guys. I really do. So, yeah. Um, so, I started that. And then he started the 616 roadside and I was helping him out because he was doing uh, towing full time still. Okay. And I was catching calls while he was at work. And then, you know, later in the day, I was catching calls for him as well. And then he's like, man, it's, it's a lot, you know? And he's like, you think about selling it? And I was like, oh, all right. So then I was like, man, that'd be cool. I should buy it, you know? And he's like, he's like, Called me, yep. called me a few weeks later. He's like, hey, are you serious about that? And I'm like, yeah, you know, well, let me talk to my wife, see what she thinks. And he's like, you know, gave me a, you know, gave me a number that I couldn't resist, man. So, right. so then, you know, with, you know, pretty much a lot, all the tools and stuff and, and all it's that. It's expensive. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, I lost, uh, I lost a few jump boxes that, that, that are not cheap. I lost, you know, just quickly not thinking and leaving tools on top of the mm -hmm. car nope i i do a go around every time now because i you know i lost <laughs> yeah. i lost a little yeah, yeah. Chunk of change, man and they're not cheap tools well, and, 
And, uh, um, but yeah, so like, um, he, yeah, he ended up giving me that number, man. And then I, I ran with it and, but haven't looked back, you know. Kicking ass lately. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. man, I have. I, we've been going crazy, man. Like I said, even if it's even if it's six calls in a day, you know that's a lot, you know. Yes. But for one person, yeah, yes, mm -hmm. for one person. You know, eventually would like to, you know, add somebody to the team, but it's it's a lot of responsibility to right. let somebody else do. Yeah. So, okay. but yeah, that was actually going to be a question I was going to ask you. Is it just you? Just me. Just, just you. Me. Yeah. Okay. That's a whole yeah. lot of work, especially yeah, if you're, you're tied up on one job. Yeah. yeah. And then you got six other people calling you. Yeah. And you're like, yep. Exactly. What? The <clears throat> yeah. And then like I try to keep it within like 30 minutes. So yeah. that's my that's why my radius is only you know 40 miles. But and even the, the 40, 40 miles. Yeah. I think yeah. That's your cops. Yeah, yeah, he, he definitely said he's gonna tap in as well yeah, too. Wow, forty miles—that's quite the distance. It, is that the whole radius? Forty miles? Yeah, it's it just like. Or just certain areas in forty miles. Yeah, cer certain areas in forty miles. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. I thought well, the radius because that's a whole. Lot. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like just kind of penciling it, it in. That's what we came up with, like you know, like a forty-mile radius. But yeah. um, I, you know, we got a few contracts that uh, you know that uh, Brandon set me up, man. For, for success, man, without a doubt, you know, he, he had all these contracts already lined up for me when I was working with him, you know, just showing me the road. But even before this, he had showed me the road with towing, just in general, and the do's and, and, and the do nots, you know, yeah. and what, what not to do's do. And don'ts. Yeah, yeah. Do's and don'ts. Yeah, and, and it was, you know, it was, it was pretty sweet, you know, all the stuff that he did. And, you know, I could call him at two o'clock in the morning, hey, man, I never done this, this kind of a window, and, or, you know, hey, I can't find this on the car and how do you put it in neutral if it's you know this and that you know just stuff that I, I didn't ask him at two o'clock in the morning and he would always answer you know so real yeah, good for the money that's awesome man yeah. that is yeah. great that is a blessing in itself yes, right. yes. now I have, a, I have a question I know it's probably a silly question yeah have you ever lost a car on a flatbed uh, not like, has it ever fall out? Oh, like, man, so <laughs> I had to have, no, I'm picturing, yeah. okay. I'm picturing what I used to do, and yeah. it's just like, it, yeah, anyway, go ahead. So, because the business is closed, you know, it, it is what it is now, but so, as we were moving, and, and I don't think I even told Brandon this, you know, but uh, or, or Rob Campbell, you know, he's a real good guy, too, mm -hmm. uh, that I gave him the opportunity to learn towing, oh, but... Mom's watching Henry, <laughs> um, So... Cause no, no flatbed. I had, I never drove a flatbed, mm -hmm. so it was all hook truck. Okay. So I was actually moving. Um, you know, in all of our trucks had uh, different numbers, and you know, the one that they started with, one of the ones that they started was was an older Ford, and I went to go pick that one up, and we were moving everything out of the uh, the bays and moving them outside so we can clean um, the pull bar pretty mm -hmm. much. And as I was moving it out, I was making a video, and I'm like, ah, you know, turn around. Boom, and I lost it. And, it, you know, I only had it raised so much, man. Yeah. So I could just kind of just get it out the way and pick up a couple, a couple other cars. Yeah. But I, I lost I, I lost that. But the, the truck, like I said, the, the company is closed now, so I, I can talk about these things. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and if you're guys are watching, hey, well, I apologize. I paid, I paid it back and, and all that, man. I lost a few checks. It was um it was uh the truck actually rolled back on me. It had uh wow. it had the emergency brake wasn't I wasn't supposed to take it out and I, I did and I did I, I love towing man. I, I love it and you know hope hope with the next year or two I'll have a hook truck, you know, to limit myself because flatbeds you can go all over. You can go all over with yeah. flatbed. You know, hook truck you, you kinda you're kinda limited. And what I wanna do is keep it, you know, Within that, still that forty mile radius, you know, because I want to be, I want to be that, you know, the number one person you call. You know, if you look at uh, some of my reviews, it's always, you know, hey, he gave me an hour and he made it here within fifteen minutes, to thirty to fifteen yep. minutes or whatever. So, yeah. Um, there is a person I know that's as an Anya. I'm pretty sure he's still working or he's busy at the moment in practice. Um, Ray. Yes. Viento, uh, Ray Valdez from Grand Rapids. We had the Rana Palooza here. Yes, and yes, the buzz broke yes, down. Yes, yes. Everybody, was, everybody was like, yeah. get over, yeah, get yeah, over, get yeah, over. Yeah. Everybody's all call, trying to call you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that was one of the times. Like, so you know, we were we were uh, 
can't remember we had a family event and you know had it on silent and looked and i seen people kept uh tagging me tagging me i'm like man i got sorry baby i got i gotta go you know what i mean this you know they, 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 i do apologize no 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 you know it's part of it you I know it's part of it. yeah yep you know i think it was it was malik myself it was him and then it was uh tommy yep yep tommy exactly. and then i had i had uh some other boys text you yeah like, yeah and a I big shot another guy uh june june was doing it too yeah yeah I, like i said i had a few different calls so i knew i had to get there but and a big shout out to my um a, a buddy of mine named kevin man and he you know i phoned him because he's big into diesels so and he he got us in the right direction hey you know do this and i i am familiar with uh you know the ptos and, and all that stuff so yeah. it's okay you know we got a it's something in that but and actually one of the my jump boxes that I had for five years, you know, I had it for a while when I was working at a dealership too. And, you know, cause you, you want to have one of those when, you know, cars are, you know, you're not starting every car out there on the dealership yeah. or even in me at my house right now, I got a few cars that I'm working on and I, I have to jump them. So I ended up losing a uh, jump box and I, cause of the dual batteries, I, yeah. you know, I knew, but just moving fast. I, it was kind of cold that day too. It, it was, yeah. it was freezing that day. Yeah. It was freezing. We were supposed to have all the event outside. Yeah. Yeah. We were supposed to have the event outside, but then it was, yeah. it, it was so cold. I was like, we're going inside. Yeah. <laughs> it was the last minute call. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was freezing that day. Yeah. So, um, and then, you know, always get nervous. Um, just depend. You know, I knew it was parked and everything had the emergency brake, but that was the thing we were trying to get yeah. the brakes released. So going underneath that, you know what I mean? So that's a big two or three guys, you know, yeah. they're not stopping that, you know. Yeah, so right. even a car behind it, it might get smushed. Uh, yeah. You know, just stuff like that. That was a big buzz. Oh, yeah. 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 So I ended up taking it, taking it, uh, taking my uh, jump box out, which, you know, is part of the game, man. And, um, I was like, told him like, he got, he had to sign it like you know anything for Selena. So, you know, <laughs> I, I, got up, but, <laughs> I got a couple of tools that I, I you know I got on I got put up you know and that I broke on my, me and my uncle working on the car. Yeah. You know, first time working on the car together, I, I, he broke one of my first breaker bars, mm-hmm. and I put that up. You know, with with the tour bus, I never worked on one before, so right. you know I put that up. You know, stuff like that. You know that I keep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. So before we get to the next question, let's give a shout out to the people that are watching. We've got Henry Ford, Carol Knight, which is my mom. Uh, we've got James Thomas. What's up, James? We've got Ray Lopez. Uh, James says he has his shirt off for you right now. Oh, Lord. <laughs> James, what is with you? No, no. He has his shirt off. Yeah, he did. Every, He's every out shirt. there in the pool, man. He's a guy. <laughs> so, um, question. What is the what is the craziest thing that you guys have showed up to? Oh, oh man. Like people probably like, oh, this person was stuck in somewhere, whatever it was. The, like know? the craziest thing, man. Uh, the, so it was maybe my second call that I got on my own. So at this point that I, I had bought the business from Brandon. Of course, it's when you're first. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you know? and, I, and, and mind you, I didn't know how to take the calls, how, how to do the dispatching. You know, he, yeah. he did all that. Yeah. And there was still a learning process for me. So I get the call and I was just heading, I was just go, mo, go, go. So I get there and the lady's like, do you have a tire for me? And I'm just like, well, you just imagine how many tire, actual tires I would have to have right. for every car, you know? Exactly. Or even spare tires. A lot of time, people call me that they need that, thinking that I have a spare tire. But you name it too that people think the questions people ask me. Yeah. We'll get to that too. But uh, yeah, so I get there. She she's sleeping. Um, German Shepherd is on a leash, but not being held by nobody, yeah. and he's just barking away, and, and she would just blood all over and who knows where it was from or whatever wow. but i i said listen you're gonna have to call your provider uh i'm, I'm not taking this call you know wow. but yeah cause she was already irate you know yeah. but that was just like one of the craziest but you know not not like uh, yeah that's probably the craziest one that i can off the top of my head but it's always something though yeah. always something my, yeah. my question for you winters yeah have you ever had a bad winter where it was just nonstop? You had 14, 15 hours and you only had an hour of sleep. When I did, not with my business, but when I was towing, I started in midwinter. 
Okay. And and mind you, I didn't even know how to drive a stick, man. And I, I jumped into this thing, and, you know, it's a semi. Yeah. And, um, you know, I learned that in there, you know, cars are already wanting to slip. You know, mm -hmm. and these are wrecked cars going from Gerber collision or, you know, off the side of the highway going to, you know, people's houses or shops or whatever it was. But, yeah, man, that that was – and then, you're, you know, you know, you start with the bibs and – and uh, long johns and all that stuff by the time you know like you said 15 hours in you're you're stripping all that off yep. and getting cold and yeah yep. but yeah that that was fun. That oh yeah yeah never kept the bibs on man yeah. even, now, yeah. even like i tried too too stiff yep. like everybody's like wash it where where you know they'll, they'll loosen up a little bit but no i just it's it's always too much for me man yeah but that's yeah that's that, see i wondered that about two uh, Tow truck. So, uh, obviously, you would have to purchase your own vehicle, yeah. your own tow truck. Now, just like semi truck drivers, a lot of them purchase their own going for business. Yeah. Uh, did you have to do that at one point, or was it always by yourself? And so yeah, it's always been you know by myself, and I started with uh, and started and still am just riding with my Jeep, man. And then when I pull up and pop that you know by a hatch everybody's like jeez you got everything you know but yeah, yeah. i'd rather have it than not you know yeah, and then need sure. it you know so of course. but yeah that's you know and, and for a while there it was a family car and the work car and you know buddy uh blessed me with the car so i could be able to use that as you know just for the business but yeah yeah that's crazy uh um well yeah so and, you know in that in that whole aspect what got you like what just made you think that you wanted to do this job like what inspired you oh man like always like i said always uh, been into cars and what got me like into working with cars more in that sense was um how much my dad had this car that he needed brakes done on it and I seen how much they were gonna charge him. He got like a quote. And I'm like, that's crazy. So I'm talking about like an eight hundred dollar. Oh yeah, oh yeah, without a doubt. You know, even when when I tell people how much I charge, they kind of still look at me like, you know, like that's a lot, you know. But it's also not shop prices. But yeah, yeah, man. I mean, labor is like I think it's almost like 80, 90 bucks now. Yeah. So, but yeah, it was it was a pretty penny, man. So that's what mainly mainly got me into working. In, in cars and then I you know I always knew how to get into cars and um me and my dad me and my dad got stuck <laughs> I go right that <laughs> me and my dad got stuck one time man in in Grand Rapids he locked his keys in the car and we went to uh went to Myers. We were at, like Wendy's Eden and Myers was right behind there. So we went and got a few different tools, uh the the stakes for like uh the winter time. Okay, yeah, okay. And then uh we, I used a screwdriver and then the door stopper to kind of wedge it okay. and then stuff that and then we end up getting out of there but yeah man. but yeah mainly my dad though you know seeing him or almost seeing him have to pay that that ticket you know yep. for the brakes and stuff like that and then after that my, my uncle Joe Joe Reister man he he was like yeah I'll guide you you know and from there then that's you know that's mainly what, what made me get into cars and doing what I do now you know but so you guys get calls from like State Farm and stuff like that? Yes, yes, okay. yep. So I have four contracts that's U Haul, um, Quest, Honk, uh, or Jiro. So yes, we the, that we work with um, all major insurances. So like even if you had called me out yourself, you know, I bill you and then you just give the invoice to your um, insurance, provider. insurance as long as you have roadside yeah, yeah. so that, that that's the way I'm excited. I always tell people oh you got insurance yeah here you go oh we didn't get it reimbursed but it's if you if you don't you know POPD you know with no roadside type yeah. of deal yeah you know but yeah, yeah if you go that route that's your fault. yeah <laughs> right <laughs> but um so we got a couple other people we got uh Esmeralda Aguilar what's going mm -hmm. on we got Maya, what up, Maya? Me and her celebrate the same birthday. Nice, nice. We always say that to each other. Um, we got Jacob Trevino. What's going on? Thanks for joining. Yeah, I'm just taking that a little bit. There we go. I can hear it perfect on my phone. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Yeah, perfect. Sorry, I'm breaking. But, no, <laughs> I know, right? It's going to fall on me. 
<laughs> this guy is funny. Yeah. But yeah, but mainly I focus on, like, you know, I still do uh, small repairs, like on the side and stuff like that. You know, if I got time and it's happening more than often, but like, I do not work on cars, you know, no, like with the business. Yeah. The business is, is strictly just roadside, you know what I mean? So no towing. I know one of my logos that I had put out there. So I got two different business cards. And it's because, you know, when I order one and then, you know, once that runs out, I'll order the other ones. Yep. So it's just two different business cards that are out there. But people are like, oh, you know, I, oh, I don't have this one, you know, when the, when it's at the desk or whatever. And then, oh I, oh, I didn't realize. Oh, cool. So then they grab that one, too. So now they got two of my cards in a, in a sense. So but that's the best part. Yeah. You get travels. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even if they sold the card to somebody else, it stays in the glove compartment. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. No, no matter what I do, I always like sometimes the customer's not there. I put it in there. Um, a girl last night, I did her breaks and she's like, I, I was like, here you go, a card. You know, just because every time I'm done with a job, I do give the cards out. I give two or three cards and, and, um, She's like, I already got like eight of them. And I was like, oh, that's a good thing. Yeah. Take them out. Yep, keep handing them out. I, and I bought a car not that long ago. And actually, we were scrapping it. And I had called Brandon because he that's what he does now. He works for um, Gigi's. And so I called him. I called them up and they happened to send him out. And then he's putting it in reverse and whatever. And, He's like, look at this, man. So, you know, he started it, and here I am, you know, owner of it, and That's there our card was, you know, so it was pretty sweet, though. That's, cool. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, we got Linda Love. What up, Linda? Anybody got any questions for Danny? Go, go ahead and type I mean, in. all these people on there, somebody's got to have a what question. Up, Joey? Joey or Joe is on. What up? Joey, what up, buddy? Man, my dog. Joey, I appreciate Joey, his shout out, too. I appreciate him shouting me out. So yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> Joe said, "Oh, that know that guy. He's cool." Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah he's cool. Well, all of you guys are cool. Guys. I appreciate uh, you guys, man. Can I call in? Um, um, actually, where is that phone? At? Where? Which one? You know what? Call myself. Yeah, we call that phone in here. I just realized that it's not even hooked up. Yeah, it but it's over here. What's it? Line? Oh, it's that's a why. Line? You have no. Yeah, it's, we don't have a connection in here. We don't have a phone connection in here. I just realized that. Or do we? No, we don't. Yeah. Call myself. Six. Or I'll protect you. <laughs> <laughs> he he said what the number was. Everybody's going to okay, call you. Okay, message you. All right, one moment. Uh, While well, you guys talk to phone. So, where do you see yourself in the future in the next couple of years, maybe five years from now? Do you want to have a fleet of trucks? Do you want to have, a like, a... Kind of like what Campbell's that they have a pole barn and they have all these trucks. And yeah, yeah. Like a little, but in the back, I think in the back they had the little, where they put all the crashed cars yep, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the impound lot. Yeah, the dog, dog pound. pound. Yeah. Yeah. The bone yard. Is that <laughs> something that you want to do? Or? Yeah, eventually, you know, I, I've been scouting out a few different buildings, um, but mainly uh, a hook truck, like I said, just uh Generate more calls, you know what I mean. And you know, even as as of now, I get a lot of people call me. Hey, man, can you? And, and there's ways around it, you know, the yeah. toe strap and thing. It's just that it's not a good look, you know what I yeah. mean. So that's why I don't do it. You know, the the toe bar. It just, like I said, I just don't want oh. a bad look. You know what I mean. So mm -hmm. that's why that's why I don't do it like that. But in five years, man, you know, ho hopefully, yes, a fleet of trucks. Uh, but man, just. Workers, that's the biggest thing, man. I don't want all it takes is one bad review, you know? and it does. And because you know, I, I've known because I've, I've dealt with Campbell a long time, yeah. And with Campbell, it was a factor of you just had one bad review, and people would slander that person. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. you know, and that's something that we tried not to do here is you know, we try to give everybody opportunities, yes, and stuff like that. yes. But with you, I mean, it, it's, it's a dangerous job, oh, yeah. Yes. Because you're on the side of the road, you got people flying at 75 miles an hour, 80 miles an hour. Yeah. You're on the side of the road. I mean, you got a big truck, yeah. but that doesn't stop them from doing nope. something stupid. Exactly. You see those emergency lights move over, man. You know. But yeah, um, I got yeah, I got pretty bright lights on there too, man. I had a couple. Uh, oh, we come. Oh, let me check it off my earpiece. One moment, Joey. Let me take this off my earpiece real quick. Can you watch him? What's up, brother? Man? What's up, man? All right, Joey, you are on speaker. 
I appreciate you, man. All the love, too. You know, all the business that you have brought me as well, man. I appreciate that. Juan Morales. We got Leo. 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 I really appreciate you, yeah. And he mentioned on the show that one time man, I was putting air in his tire and, yeah. and the, the neighbor, you know, everybody did, but yeah, he had paid it he had paid it for it and blessed everybody too, yeah. man. And, Awesome. Hey, yo, what? I, I ain't gonna fuck with any flip. I just wanna ask yo, what do you and your wife got going on Saturday, bro? Man, I, I was just talking to Tito, man. Now I gotta find babysitter for six kids. So is anybody anybody interested in watching six kids, man? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man, right, here we go. Go. Yeah, man. No, but definitely, man. I'm gonna make it happen, man. We are gonna make it happen. I, I got you, brother. All you gotta do is give me your name. You know, we got some tickets. Ben, I got y'all some tickets. Well, man, Sweet. if y'all want to pop out to the Canada, you should. I appreciate you know, it. I you know, would like to go. Just do it. Yeah, it's on me. All you got to do is just send me your name. I'll send you the credentials, but, you know, just, man, I always thank y'all for always showing love, especially a good nigga like that. It's just on my journey. Yeah. It's, it's just certain people in this, in this world that just show you unconditional love. So we you give it back. Yes, yes. So, always. And that's what we're about, is showing love, love, man. man. Yeah. Y'all want to come talk a good time? I know, man, y'all some older niggas. <laughs> they still know how to party though, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll cool. show you after the show. <laughs> yeah, man. We appreciate it, Joey. Thank you for being a real nigga, man. Thank you, man. Thank you for all the love, too, brother. Appreciate you. Alright, y'all. Have a good night, man. Bless him. We got Tio watching. Thank you, Joey. Our for watching. watching. My God. Appreciate Joey. Oops, I'm on the wrong camera. Joe, we appreciate you calling in. Uh, we will. I will try to make it out. I got to go to Kalamazoo Saturday, but I will try to make it out there. Danny's it's picking me up, so we're right, 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 man. We send, me the, send me the info so I can get everything in the in order. So nice, nice. We'll make it. We'll, we'll, we'll try to make it. Work. That's a nice cruise though, too. Right? Where, where, where is that at? Um, Grand Rapids, though. No, 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 no. It's more up north. I think. Yeah. But more up there, Baldwin. 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 Yes. That's where. Baldwin. 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 Oh, here, yes. roughly. Oops. That's a whole lot of couple <laughs> hours. Yeah, it is, right? An hour and a half. Yeah, I ain't too bad. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's closer than Detroit. Yeah, Lansing, we went to Lansing. That's roughly an hour and a half, too. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. a nice cruise. Me and my wife had a good time, man. We did. Yeah. Project Pat. That yeah. was, yeah. Yeah. Take a break and go up and drive up there and check it out. Yeah. They have a little pizza joint after when I say Dude. take a break, I mean chill. Yeah. I don't, I don't <laughs> take breaks, man. He's yeah. about there with the camera or what, yeah. man? You're going to have. Oh, I'll use my phone. Yeah. <laughs> he knows I, I work. I was, no. I was sitting there working. I was typing. I'm like, nah, man. <laughs> what up, Norma? He's like, take a break, man. Go to sleep. Yeah, you got to, man. Uncle Mark. Uncle if Mark. I quit, if I stop working, yeah. ain't no get done. No, I hear you on that, man. I, I work. So I do work. Yeah, I try to get up early, man. So we got a message from James Thomas. It says, <laughs> great man right there. I got, I got his back 100%. Danny Boy will be somewhere. Get within five years, praise the God. Amen. I appreciate awesome. that. Yes, I do. We got a lot of supporters, buddy, yes. and that, that shows a lot. You're doing a great job. Thank you. That shows a lot. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, every time I see something posted, it's I see your name involved mm -hmm. somewhere yeah. somehow. Yes, yes. And that's cool because that means you're doing the work for people, and people see that. Yes, exactly. And they appreciate what you're doing. So keep it up. The community sees it. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully the city will see this. And the city, I'm going to say, put this, go ahead, put me on there. Oh, you want to be on the camera? Oh, Real quick. Real quick. <laughs> I want the city to understand if anybody deserves a key to the city, Danny Corrales Jr. Okay. He deserves a key to uh -huh. the city because he provides for the community. Mm -hmm. He does a dangerous job. And he does everything he can to make sure that he pays it forward no matter what he does. Exactly. So... I know Johnny, you're watching, buddy. I know you got that little that little beak on the ear. I know you got that. <laughs> so, I know. You know, yeah. you deserve a lot, bud. And thank you. you have you have shown through your work. 
Yes. How much you love the community and how much you love the people that you work with. Yes. Mm -hmm. Especially, yeah. you know, family and friends. Oh, yeah. You got a lot of support, and I congratulate you with the new business and job that you are doing. And I, that's something I always wanted to do, yeah. but that damn code ain't going to happen. No. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't going to happen. I'll tell you what, dude, the last thing you'll see me do is get underneath the car with right. that snow. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, uh, with that Jeep, man, I, I mean, one, one uh, was it uh, two years ago with that real bad uh, snowstorm on um, Christmas Eve, I believe it was, yeah, because I got in trouble, man, my wife's like, come on, man, you got to get home, so I was out there pulling cars out left and right, even uh, oh, plow yeah. trucks, I did, I, I did a couple plow trucks, and that Jeep, man, and when she goes out, she don't owe me a thing, man, she, oh, she's, wow. I think I paid two grand for that thing, and, and I'm mean, still kicking. You know, a lot of TLC, but yeah. You know. And that's a good thing too that your vehicle is able to survive all that. Oh yeah, man. So it's like you got a good one there. Oh yeah, I think I put four pairs of uh, you know uh, tires on there. You know, mm -hmm. like, and then I had I had rims on there, and Mickey Thompson like, yeah, I'm gonna re replace the Mickey Thompson. It's like, 450. 450. Tiger. Tiger. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I don't know. But it's cool. Man. I'm good. <laughs> I, went, I went stock and, and it's been pretty good to me, though. But yeah, man. I definitely want to get back into a a Jeep, though. You know, it's like, a, you know, my next car for the business. I definitely want to get into a Jeep. Just just the look, you know, that beefy look. You yeah. Know, you know, alongside a tow truck. But yeah, between, uh, hopefully within, a, I say, two years. Uh, another Jeep and a, a hook truck. You know, that's my number one goal is a, is a hook truck. But, yeah. Now, how much does a hook truck cost? It really just depends, man. I've seen them um, between five to ten grand. You know, mm. so, that's not bad. No, no, it's not. You know, I, you know, I got, a, I got a dumb, I got a dumb question in my head. Does, you, does your wife get mad at you while you guys are laying in bed? And she's like, will you go to sleep already? Quit looking at those damn trucks. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I started, I was saying, I had this in her this weekend. And I'm like, bing, bing, bing. I didn't get, no, yeah, maybe, no, no, no. But no, not really, man. I think she, she really, she really wants to, see, she knows, you know, she, she knows how much that I, I put in. And, and she always tells me like, you know, it's, it's going to pay off. You know what I mean? Yeah, and sure. I'll give it to her for, for, for allowing me to go out late nights and, mm -hmm. and, you know, just, let me work yeah get yeah. it done and you know like you said it is a dangerous job you yeah. know what i mean we do got a high uh death rate for mm -hmm. tow operators and you oh, know it's, it's people don't pay attention no, exactly they yeah. don't pay attention they yeah. don't they don't care that you get your flashes on they still drive right close yeah. to the, exactly yeah and, and especially in the winter that's yeah. the whole, that's the most yeah like as i think about that too with other people that are out there doing that it's like yeah you don't like cloud cloud yeah. drive or yeah. cloud truck driver yeah. I can see myself working on cars, yeah. but not yeah. on a highway, yeah. you know what I mean? No. Yeah. I can't see it. I, I, mean, I can see it, and I can see what happened. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, what's, what's up, Benjamin Robinson? We Mr. Robinson. Jackson. What's up, brother? What's up, man? We got Josh Forsman, my brother. What's poppin', Robinson? No. Yeah, it's, uh, that's a, it is a very dangerous job. And I, I've never done it, but I know, I know a few people that have. Well, I know it's like only for the fact that, you know, we didn't have a tow truck. Mm -hmm. We had four Mexicans in a car yep, with yep. a toolbox. Yep, exactly. Uh, and we would go, you know, they didn't call us all late, late night. Hey, what's up, Cooper? Um, Hello, Coop. We, uh, Leland Cooper's on. Oh, yep, that's my baby, man, yep. Um, so we would get in the car, we have a toolbox full of tools, yep. and we go see what was wrong with the car. One would actually have a flashlight doing yeah, that. You know, so that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guys are pumping up yeah. the thing. That was taking off the bolts. Yeah, we're trying to do it real exactly. fast. Four guys in the car. I mean, yeah. that's what it was. But that's a good name for a business. <laughs> Four guys in the car. Get it done fast, yeah, man. Exactly. In and out. You yeah. Know, so instead of five guys, it's four guys. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And so you know, I know what it's like to work in the dead middle of winter, and it gets yeah. cold. Your hands freeze up. Oh yeah. See what it's. Oh, yeah. you know, even when it comes out, it, it, yeah. it's even worse. I, I feel like it is worse. You know, they get wet. And yeah, they get wet. Yeah. Rock, they get soggy and then froze. You know what? Winter needs to stop coming. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But I can't stand <laughs> the heat either, man. That just, you know, we're we got plenty sweaty. of winters. We don't need it. No, yep. every other year or something like that, you know, yeah. it's going to yeah. smack us hard. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Then we're going to so forget how it feels. Have a bad one and then <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it's like, now, do, okay, you obviously just 
Do you do like car accidents and things like that? Um, not yet, not yet. And so there used to be a rotation, but so even if I, you know, got a tow truck, a hook truck, um, could I be put on that? It's all um, who who you decide to call, you know. But yeah, it's like I had it where my car broke down, and who do I call? You know, I had a they actually the cop actually called mm -hmm. for a tow truck because uh, he's in the middle. But man, was that a ticket? Yeah, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah, I'll be right there. But yeah, that so we still need a ticket. Yeah, yeah, for impeding traffic or, or something along those lines, really? something like that. Oh. But yeah, Exit died, and he, uh, you know, first I thought he was just gonna pull in. He, he gave me a ticket for impeding traffic, mm -hmm. and I thought he was just behind me for you know, you know so to warn people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, and he called the tow truck. Or, and I said, let me. I'll call him. Yeah, I got a couple of buddies out there, Lawrence, and um, towing, mm -hmm. and I was gonna give those guys a call, and then end up. He can call Tim's towing, and then it was like 280. I was like, man, I, I and the, Jesus. the couple years that I've towed, even emergency calls, I don't even ever remember writing an invoice for that high. I was like, that was crazy. Wait, what did you say that was? That was uh, Tim's towing, but it was because you know why? it's emergency. Well, that, and because you know what I always know, they're always on 92.7. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why is there commercial? <laughs> I, I never heard it. I did. Yeah, that's yeah, weird. Yeah, it's, oh yeah, yeah. I know it's, what you're talking about. It's uh, it's not who knows you. It's who told you. Yeah, uh, yeah that's that's I, mean, the I, I, I I've uh, definitely heard it before. But don't yeah. replay that. That's <laughs> right. right. But anyway, yeah. As I because I, I think that I you know car accidents obviously people it happens with. Yeah. Because it's almost like. How do you? How would you even do that without a flat bed? Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? exactly. Like I said, there's there's been a few things that uh, a few cars when I was doing towing, um, ball joints, you know, tire falling off. Ball but there's yeah. there's ways around it when you got the dollies and stuff like yep. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, I've I've, de I've definitely been. It was winter time. A buddy of mine's son at, at that too. So you know, got there in a rush, and. Back to Brandon, you know, phoned him, was like, "Hey, man, what do I do in this situation? You know, jack it up, put the the brace on on the wheel, and and then put it back, put it on the dolly, and then you know, just get out of there." But one of my first nine one one calls was a buddy of his, and it was right there by the shop. So he had got Brandon had actually got pictures of me doing it. So I recently just uploaded that. So a lot of those two, a lot of the pictures I upload from when I was towing. Then I get calls like. Hey, do you tow? You tow? But yeah, yeah nah. like as of right now, we don't tow, man. So, but definitely looking forward to, you know, getting the truck. And I'll say that a million times until I get that truck. Speaking into existence. Yes, exactly. Yep. Yep. So, anybody that wants to help them get a truck? Yep. Yeah, yeah, come on. There's a lot of people, you, you know, know, 20 bucks, 20 Go bucks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, who, wants to, who wants to start the GoFundMe account? Right. I'll, 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 I'll start it. it. I'll start it. Kids got to eat, man. He needs his truck, everybody. Um, I was gonna say something. About the tow. Oh, that's what happened to me not too long ago. Was it last year? My ball joint, or no, my CV axle broke. Yeah. Right by Speedway in South Washington. And they had to do that similar to that. Yeah. To straighten it out. I don't remember if he had a flat bed. But anyway, it was similar to that. Yeah, sometimes even those guys with a flat bed will come with like a makeshift, just, you know, a couple four by fours put together to be able to put underneath yep. that yep. so they don't drag your whole bumper right on there but mm -hmm. yeah yeah i've been my i you know i, I usually call um lawrence Tony, mm -hmm. and those guys are always always pretty fast and you know willing to like teach me too you know what i mean yeah. Yeah. some of those guys are like you know back up back up you know let me let me get this you know, yeah, all right. yeah. Yeah. Watch what this yeah, don't, don't get behind the car but you know I've, I've been there too where people want to walk around the car like no I mean, this is you know, going up, you know, the last thing you want to do is roll back, and I had a few of those <laughs> roll back. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you're like the one to learn. Yeah, by yeah. hands on. Yes, exactly. exactly. So that's pretty. You know, every, a lot of people are like that, but it's like it's easier to learn hands on. Oh, yeah. you get the experience. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's good. not like reading in a book. And you're yeah, like, what did I read? Right, and then and oh, how did I do this? this? <laughs> I didn't go to school to read. No. <laughs> <laughs> never go to school. Never go to school. I went to school to read. Look at pictures. No, but <laughs> so you know, 
you talked a lot about your wife and how supportive she is, man. I mean, that's awesome because some of these guys out here now, they don't have that support. No, yeah. They have they have people that you know, they, sorry, they have wives, or if wives are working, they have husbands, and spouses. Yeah, yeah. yes. <laughs> they have spouses <laughs> that are, are not supportive. Yeah. yeah. And they find means and ways to make your life even harder. Yeah. yeah. Um, so far, it's been a success here where people are coming here to be on where you're at, yeah. and they talk about how their wives are supportive. They, yeah. You know, they deal with the nonsense. They deal with the late nights. They deal with, yeah. the, you know, all nights. They yeah. deal with, you know, the, sometimes you have, you know, attitudes because you're tired yeah. or angry or... All of the above. You know, she, she deals, she deals with all the things. She, 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 you know, she, yeah, so that's very awesome that you have that support. Yeah. Definitely Especially blessed. at home. Yeah. yeah. But what I get, what I love the most is when I look at Facebook, this dude's with his kids. Yeah. Yeah. Every second, yeah. and these little kids on the bike. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. I always meet them kids, man. I, and I love it, man. Like I said, I've been, I've been a dad. I, I actually had my, I think I was 16 or 17 when I had my oldest boy, and then, um, like I said, even down to you know my youngest two that I that live with me, you know, just always have. Oh, we always have them, you know. Mm -hmm. Always trying to do something with us, you know. But yeah, even with that, you know, that gets hard at times too but like I said back to her you know even helping me get the joint custody or you know help me with the kids before you know we we when we first got together you know she she's always been been supportive of, you know what I mean and that's awesome with, with the sobriety as well too you know all that good stuff but yeah cool. and not many guys your age can say they have 10 years sobriety. oh yeah man yeah. there's a lot of kids out there I was talking, we were talking about this earlier yeah. You know, and I'm very proud of you because, I mean, there's a lot of things that we talked about, but I'm very proud of you because there's not many people like yourself, you know, that can own a business and say, I've been 10 years old, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, and that took a lot of exactly. a lot of strength in yourself yeah. to say, I don't want it anymore. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got my kids and that's it. That's all I need. Yeah. I mean, there, you know, it, 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 there's a lot of things that, uh, that are tough, you know what I mean? Just like, you know, insurance, I got, you know, just everyday bills, you know, that, that you know. I think would I have her too to help you know help me with all that stuff and you know far from where I really need to be to be you know fully successful you know but uh, yeah I mean it, it gets tough man where you just want to I, I, I want to sit back and you know just have a beer you know one beer yeah. but man, yeah. it's just you know I, I got it, yeah man. no it's not definitely not worth it man I did you know I did some um, you know almost a couple years you know locked up here and there, you know, mm -hmm. probation since I was 12. I think I was 26 years old when I got out probation, 26 years old when I got my license, um, you know, stuff like that. And it just, it, well, it's not worth it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. But then you, you also got to um, continue to look at that as, that's the past, you're in a different, oh, different yeah. direction. Oh, yeah. yeah. A way better direction to where you can focus on your family, your, your, your job. Yes. You know, and be able to be in a better position yeah. for yourself yeah. and your family. Yeah, just imagine you call the 24 hour uh, total. Right, 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 right. You know, hey, hey, yeah. hey, I'm out right here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Hey, I'm just being. Yeah. Oh, I'm just watching. Yeah, yeah. You know, absolutely. Yeah, that's, you know, congrats again for that. 10 years, that's awesome. Yeah, that's, that you. is great, man. Yeah. That is awesome. I mean, it's just like some people can't let go of the past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But some people said, what past? Yeah. Yeah, it's me today. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And I'm, I, I'm very proud of you, man. Thank I, you. Yeah. I've known you for years, and I've known your pops for years, yeah. your mom. Yeah. And you know, me and your dad used to hang out, <clears throat> and it's just like yeah. for things to change and watch how you have progressed in life, man. It's yeah. just like wow. Thank that's you. That's awesome. Like I said, man, I, that is great. I recently uploaded a picture like not that long ago. It was like uh, it was a mugshot of me, and it was like, was like dang, man, and just looking back at that too, and it's like you know just. Thank God I don't have to, you know, look 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 over my shoulder and stuff like that and just making mistakes. Uh, you know, like I said, twenty six years old man and when I finally got my license and you know that that, that sucked, you know what I mean, through DUIs and all yeah. the, the loops I had to jump through just to get it, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? It was just mm -hmm. crazy. So and so we got my license, went for my chauffeurs, you know, C D I I just looked at uh getting my C D O but like for what I do, I don't need it, but just to show just, just to try, yeah, you know. Like, have it just in case. Yeah. You never know. Yeah, yeah. Getting a bigger, you know, 
truck to haul a semi. That, yeah, that, that'd be a yeah that would be. That is pretty. Yeah. more money. I mean, yeah. it's a lot more yeah. money. It's a lot more work. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But you got to look at it in the end. It's, it, it'll pay off in the end. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt, man. Yeah. It looks uh, looks pretty good. Uh looks like you're you're doing really, really well for yourself. And, and you know, again, we congratulate you on all your success. Thank you, man. Um, just do us a favor and give us a shout out whenever you can. Yeah, right. always, <laughs> always, yeah. So always do. We'll give you a shout out as well. Yeah. You know, whenever we see you on the side of the road. But just keep talking. Just so, <laughs> uh, so anybody that needs any service, uh, Besides, you said besides, besides towing, so besides towing, you have flat tire, things like that. Get a hold of them. Six, the 616 Roadside LLC, Dave Morales. Yes. I think I might have worked with it. Do you have a, I can't remember his name. His last name was Perales. I think it was Mike. Mike Perales. Or maybe it was Morales. No, it was a Perales. I worked with him at and my dad had my dad has uh, I want to say thirteen brothers and sisters. So okay. it would be one of my. <laughs> it was probably one of them. <laughs> no, because he, he. I remember. It. I was. It was work. We were working at uh, Johnson Controls back when the Johnson Controls. And it was third shift. And he was telling me, he knows my aunt. And yeah. My mom and all the yeah. Like, they grew up on Fourteenth Street, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Ask your dad. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> yeah. So I'm like, definitely. Uh, I'm happy for you. You know, you from all that I hear yeah. uh, about you and about your business, you know, you are kicking ass. Thank so, you, man. Thank you. you know, appreciate that. I love it. I, I love the yeah. you know, you're an inspiration. Thank you. And I meant what I said with the city of Holland. I mean, oh, yeah, look sure. at somebody yeah, yeah, sure. it's yeah. you because you, you when when they see a you know, I'm sorry, I hate to say this, I'm an old guy. Yeah. When they see a, 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 a kid that's yeah. yourself yeah. and they're like a business yeah. your age mm -hmm. and you're sober for 10 years yeah, right you know what i mean who doesn't you're deserve, on the right track who right. doesn't deserve yeah. an award? stay on that right track thank you yeah. who doesn't deserve an award yeah i appreciate that that man. deserves a lot i do appreciate it man i know the love you know what i mean and all the support that i get from people but yeah i do i do I mean, it's just great man it's just it's uncanny it's just yeah. there Red Cross, a hero from yeah, the city here. Yeah, you're not, think, you're right, actually yeah. saving lives up there. You know, no, people are in the yeah. cars and you don't even know what happens. To right, them. exactly. Yeah. You know so, I mean? you know, that's how I see it. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of situations that I run into. You know, it's just dead right in the water highway. You know, put the lights on, just push them out. You know, you know they, if they call us, then they call us. You know what I mean? But, yeah. you know, pushing them out, getting them out uh, off to the side, you know what I mean, for the most yeah. part. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's cool. I mean, not cool that they have the bad happen. Yeah, <laughs> I was because you know, I've been in that position, and I'm like, and I remember <clears throat> I was on my way from home from Halligan, and I got a flat tire, yeah. literally like just between Halligan and Hamilton. I was like, crap, how am I gonna get home? So I did this, change the tire and everything, and I'm like, drove home, took the back road. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I know that. Yeah. yeah. Well, and yeah, it was the front tire. Yeah. But then I was thinking, I'm like, no, I want to put that tire up here. This one in the back, but I didn't have to, to, yep. to do that. Yeah, exactly. Just to change the tire. That was yeah. So, dang, I would have had I known you that. Yeah, right. I, I would have been like, where are you going? <laughs> I always tell people it's better to see me than a tow truck. There's still hope you're going to be back on the road by the time I'm done. You know what I mean? Yeah. There so, you go. That's awesome. All right. So, anything you want to say anything to your people oh, out there? Uh, like like I, I said before, man, I, I appreciate all the support. Big shout out to Brandon. I'm, you know, I, I'm forever shouting him out. I'm always thinking him and, you know, my wife and, and, and my family, like my pops too. Big shout out to him, man. He rock. He rock. Yeah. Yeah. Big shout out to him, you know. Oh, and anything that I do, I, I run back to him and tell him because, you know, he's, he's one of my biggest supporters. Amen. And, you know, That's 10 cool. years sober as well, you know. So. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Clap for that. Thank, you. Thank you. Everybody guys. clap for that one. Thank you. Anybody that's watching, clap. Give some shout outs. Yeah, for sure. Um, you keep mentioning Brandon. What's Brandon's last name? Overweight. Sorry, yeah. Brandon, Brandon Overweight. Overweight. Yes. Okay. And he has a few different projects that he's working on too, so I can't wait till those come out. You know, cool, cool. he does got a, um, uh, he does uh, hats and shirts. And oh. He makes my merch and of course I, I, I dried it and I shrunk it and I was not coming out here with it. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't find the hat. Oh, I'm like, man, right? <laughs> Be all tight and stuff like that. But yeah, he, he does do 
uh, my shirts and, and he, he can make the hats as well for all that kind of leave that in, in, in his hands and but he does have a few different projects that he's working with Brandon Overwig is he's working on a few different projects and um, but I leave that in his hands so because I, I, I every time I get a few hats or a few shirts I end up giving away losing more money than I am getting he's back. kind of like me with all yeah, my little, yeah, yeah. My little LED lights and yeah. glasses and yeah. 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 I see all these little kids right. come in. I see these kids come in and they usually come to the studio or you know like Lou's mom yeah and she's she's a big huge church fanatic and yeah. she, she does that flag yeah so I gave her this uh the styrofoam LED tube oh yeah. nice nice yeah so uh, she said she's gonna tape it yeah. broke to the flag yeah and so it lights up so she can wave with the lights. Yeah, yeah. Nice. that's awesome. So, yeah, first day I get them, I tell this guy, don't put your finger in the What does he do? <laughs> okay, so he breaks in. Like, it looked like when you take the thing out. Yeah. Because I thought that's what it was. It was all glued, right? So, yeah. <laughs> he breaks No, it. you could take it out and look inside. I was like, oh, oh. So I put it back on. <laughs> first thing I tell him not to do, he does. Like, yeah, you know, it, it happens, man. Mm -hmm. that, I like it though. He's like a little kid at the candy shop. Every time he comes in, there's something new. Yeah. He's still trying to figure it out and bring it, yeah. put it back together. This guy. It's fun. We got some. Um, all right. Well, we want to thank you, everybody, for joining tonight. We want to thank Dave for tuning in. Or tuning in. You were here. <laughs> you tuned in on your phone. Right? Yeah. <laughs> for stopping by and visiting us and giving us a little shout out about himself, a little bit of history, and if you, again, if you need help, you're stuck on the side of the road, get a hold of them. I'm on the wrong camera. Get a hold of them at 616 Roadside LLC. Uh, actually, you want to give me your stuff? A Let's show your number. Okay, actually, hold on one second. Let me get there. If you want to do that. Jeez, I don't even know my own phone. You don't have your number? He's going to look up his phone. So, yeah, yeah, you just look for his pretty face. It's like yeah, somebody yeah, told yeah, me, yeah, I don't call myself. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> And it's usually so, right, right up on top too, and right. But so it happens. It happens. We're it wouldn't be a live show if it didn't. But, right. but here's the thing: these mistakes. It's, it's right. like everybody says: like nobody memorizes numbers anymore. No, we, don't. we look for the name or the pretty face. Exactly. So. You look like that little bubble head right next to the name. Mm -hmm. Look at the bubble head. <laughs> exactly. I don't hurt, but <laughs> yeah. I don't him. I need him. Yep. Exactly. But. Uh, Yes, thank you for being on. We appreciate you coming by. Oh, and you just what you know, I'm I'm gonna speak freely for uh, Grupo Viento, your hero, Danny Bravas Jr. Thank you guys for reaching out to me too as well that day. Yeah. So. yeah. Phone number is six one six five eight nine four four one eight. Twenty four hour service. So if you need a pizza, don't yeah. call. Yeah. <laughs> the right price, I'll get it there. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. And, and, yeah, and, exactly. and there will be some missing slices. Yes, exactly. <laughs> he gets a slice. Yep, exactly. Ten percent feet. Easy <laughs> feet. But yeah, we appreciate you, man. We, uh, we wish you the best on everything. No, oh, thank uh, you. Just, just thank keep you. at it. Keep on that right path, and everything's going to be, you know, a blessing you and your family. God's got you, man. God's got you protected. Without he's, doubt, he's, yes. he's gonna keep blessing you, man. Just keep doing the right path and keep staying sober. Yes, always, always. So yes. proud of you, man. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, we will call it a night when we get to the right camera. Hi, everybody. I'm on the right camera. So this is Marcos behind me. Folks, I'm gonna fall far away. Everything's backwards. Check my ice cube shirt out. <laughs> anyway, all right. Everybody, Come on, we can pray out. Oh, you're gonna do it. Oh, you can do this. The outro. The outro. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this evening. I want to thank you for the podcast that is so positive. Father God, did you see the work in this man, Danny? He has done such a dramatic change in his life, Father. I want to thank you for this gentleman right in front of me, Father, and of all his supporters, the people that he loves, <laughs> his family, his friends, his co-workers. You can see the, the pride in, in his emotions that when he's talking, he loves what he does, Father. You presented an opportunity for him, and he took it. Father God, I ask that you protect him in all that he does, mm -hmm. all that he's going to do, and I ask that you light up his path so he knows that that's the path he needs to keep taking and not ever fall out because you were there. You'll never leave him. You'll never forsake him, but you'll keep blessing him, Father. Father God, I ask this in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And then before we leave, we want to give a shout-out again to our 
sponsor, Pure West Compassion Club, located at 9730 Adams Street, right here in Holland, 616-772-9420. They're open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 8, and Sunday, 12 to 4. And you can also visit their website, purewestclub.com, to see all that they offer. And uh, go ahead and check them out. They're pretty cool people. Uh, Bomber, you're you're awesome guy. I appreciate you. So we need to get him on the show. Yeah, okay. that's the one. Who's the one? Oh. <laughs> Cameras. So, <clears throat> all right, everybody. Thank you for joining tonight, and we will see you tomorrow night, which is the paranormal night. First paranormal night back on here. Oh, we got a good story for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Marcos, uh, oh, actually, yeah, I do that. So. Yeah. Anyway, all right, well, we'll see you guys tomorrow night. Tune in, Paranormal Night. God bless, be safe.